<laughs> and video games. Nice. Today I'm going to share a script that dynamically spawns furniture in random houses when the player enters a town and then is removed when the player leaves. Franck's Furniture. So as you can see, there is no furniture or objects in any of these buildings. Look inside the windows, no furniture inside there. Furniture inside there. No furniture or objects in there. Alright, here's the mission that we're going to test the script with. What we need to do is install the script. So we're going to go to the scenario tab at the top and then down to open scenario folder and install the script. Okay, we are in the scenario folder and what I'm going to do is going to bring up a folder and this is the zip file of the script. What I'm going to do is link the zip file in the description of the video. When you download it, you're going to open up the zip file just like this. Take these three files and you're going to put them into your mission folder just like that. You don't need the zip file. You're going to get three files. You're going to get a readme, an init.sqf, and then the scripts itself. So the readme doesn't do anything. It's just information about the script. So let's take a look at the scripts. So you have an init.sqf, and this basically calls the furniture script to function in the game. And then in this PF folder itself, Frank's Furniture, you open it, and here lies in a bunch of files and scripts. And the only one you need to be concerned about is this script here, is the cfg.sqf. Open that up, and we have Frunk's Furniture script. And here's a bunch of things that you can configure. It's not very big, but let's go over them real quick. So in this first line is basically a blacklist marker. What this is, is a list of markers that prevent furniture from spawning in them. So basically what you do here is you create an area marker on the map. You give that area marker a name and you put the name right here. So if let's say, for example, he has two names for two markers and you don't need to use these names. You could use, let's say, Mark 1 or Mark 2 or just MK1 or MK2 or whatever name you want to use. And you put the name right here in between the quotes. And if you have more names, then you just put a comma, a quote, and then a variable name, and then you put a quote, and then you'll have your third name. That's all you need to do for that part, if you want to do that. List of location names to prevent furniture triggers from being created in them. So you have Altus, Malden, Stratus, and Tenota, which already have default names. You could add to that list if you wanted to. Here we have a blacklist of objects. List of building class names to avoid spawning furniture in. So here you could put the names, the class names of the buildings that you wanted. Here we have debug, and this is the description for it. True enables debug mode, false disables it. Here's the chance at 75%. Chance for furniture to spawn per house. And then we have some of the other stuff. True enables hiding all furniture once the player is within 150 meters. So we're going to set this chance to 100% so we can see the furniture. And we're going to save that and close that. And we're going to go back into the mission and run the script. Just a quick note on the area marker. So if we go to markers, I just want to show you how this is done. So what you do is you go to areas for markers. You look for this right here. You go to areas. You could choose an eclipse. And let's say we wanted this particular area not to have furniture. So what you do is you just place your marker. You could resize it to what you want. Give it a variable name of whatever you want. I'm just gonna name it M1. And then just define that name in that CFG file and that's all you have to do. When you go to this area, then there won't be any furniture there. Save our mission and let's play the scenario and see if, where the furniture is at. All right, so at the start of the mission, you're going to see at the bottom left a hint. It says trigger activated, 30 houses found. Now that's just this particular town that I'm in. 
and let's take a look. So what I'm going to actually do is go to spectator and we could just take a look that way. It'll be, be a lot better than hearing me clompity clomp around. All right, so we have furniture here already. Furniture in this house. The furniture in here looks like a little store. And garage with a couple vehicles in it. Same thing. Looks a little repetitive, but... About this house. Oh, nothing in here. It looks like the houses that are damaged are not will not have furniture in them. So this house isn't damaged. Looks like it has some furniture. Oh, there we go. Let's go over here. This has got some furniture. Nice. We go upstairs. Some furniture. Oh, we got furniture here. Furniture in this because this is damaged. And there's probably furniture in this house building. This looks like a store, you know. Let's see what other buildings have furniture. Alright guys, that's basically it. That's all I wanted to show you today. Hope you uh, find some use for the script if you're interested in it. And uh, I want to thank you guys for watching. For more codes and scripts, take a look at this playlist. Mm -hmm.